As Dan Evans's uncle, I have seen the sacrifices he and his parents have made, and this is their reward. When Dan beat Bernard Tomic, the Evans family WhatsApp group went into overdrive. We are a big family and are dotted around the world, but we all make sure we keep in touch after his games, whether it be online while at work, or watching the matches live on TV. There has certainly been a lot to celebrate and it really has been incredible to watch Dan's journey over the last couple of years, and everything that is happening for him now is as a result of his own hard work. He has always had natural ability and I think Dan himself would agree that he is making sacrifices now that he could have made years ago. He is putting in the extra miles and it is really paying dividends. To go from around 770 in the world rankings to where he is today, in the world's top 50 and the last 16 of a Grand Slam, is testament to that. At the end of last season Dan took just 5 days off, for example. He did not relax too much either, as he and his dad came out to see my wife and I in Dubai to play some golf. He is a pretty decent golfer and he plays off a handicap of 8 or 9, although he is pretty cocky about it. Mind you, he did not have it all his own way, he won only one of our three rounds as I won one and his dad won the other. He has not had much experience of losing recently so I am glad we got that one over on him. After that it was off to Florida for a warm weather training camp and that, with Mark Hilton coaching him as well as having his own fitness coach, based in Birmingham, has made the world of difference. Seeing him applying himself like that has been brilliant because his attitude did need to change, and we can see the difference it has made. He deserves it, but so too do his parents, David and Bernadette. They have been making sacrifices for Dan for years, and this is their reward. When Dan was on the Futures Tour he was taking home less than it was costing to play in terms of his travel, accommodation and other bills, so it was up to his parents to fund him through that which they did. His father is an electrician and his mother a mental health nurse, and you realize some people have misconceptions about Dan coming from an upper class background until he opens his mouth and they hear the stick Brahmi accent. When Dan was growing up he certainly did not have the luxury of going to Mediterranean training camps, like some of his peers. Instead, he just trained at West Warwickshire Tennis Club, where he started out and would head up to Loughborough when he had to. I guess that helps make him who he is, a really down-to-earth lad who is very much what you see is what you get. There are no airs and graces to him, and this will not change him at all. You can tell that by watching my brother and Dan's box at matches, there is almost no emotion on show and Dan is just as grounded as he is. He will probably celebrate by watching a bit of sport, because he really is an absolute sports nut. His sports management company has a stake in some boxers so he goes to a few fights, while he also likes heading to the races when he can as well. Sadly, he is also an Aston Villa fan, I am a Birmingham supporter so derby time is interesting. He is also a very talented squash player, and there was a time when he had to choose between that or tennis. He claims he chose tennis because Tim Hanman was one of his idols, along with Tiger Woods. But I think the fact he could earn more money in tennis certainly played a large part. I do not think anyone would question whether he made the right decision now, and we are all thrilled for him. And no matter where in the world we are, the Evans family will all be tuned in to watch him play Joe Wilfried Songa. There is no reason why his journey needs to stop quite yet.